Have you ever wondered how far into our universe can we see? Well, you'd be happy to know. On the 22nd of December 2021, humanity's eyes in the skies will receive a massive upgrade. We are of course talking about the brand new James Webb Space Telescope or JWST. So, strap in as we attempt to explain this absolute marvel of technology to you in 12 minutes. Size Let's talk about the size of the telescope first. The JWST, which is a joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency CSA, has a primary mirror that is made of 18 hexagonal segments and stretches 6.6 meters from tip to tip. In comparison, Hubble's primary mirror has a diameter of only 2.4 meters. This massive size also gives the JWST around 6.25 times more light collecting surface area than Hubble. If this was not impressive enough, the JWST mirror is also lighter. Each primary mirror segment assembly, or PMSA, weighs a little less than 40 kilograms, bringing the total mirror weight to 705 kilograms. That's more than 100 kilogram lighter than the Hubble mirror. The entire telescope, however, with all its instruments, has a mass of around 6,500 kilograms. It will be launched inside an Ariane 5 ECA rocket from Kourou in French Guiana. Orbit Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST will not be in orbit around the Earth. It will orbit the Sun 1.5 million kilometers or 1 million miles away from the Earth. After launch, it will be injected into a transfer trajectory that will take it to the second Earth-Sun Lagrange point, L2. It will take JWST approximately 30 days to reach the start of its orbit at L2 and only after that can it begin its 10-year science mission. The special feature of an L2 orbit is that it lets the telescope stay in line with the Earth as it moves around the Sun. This allows JWST's large sun shield to protect the telescope from the light and heat of the Sun. And since JWST primarily observes infrared light, we will discuss why this feature is crucial for its success. Technology JWST required several brand new technologies to be developed from scratch. The most visible one is probably its deployable sun shield. The main purpose of the sun shield is to keep the observatory part of the space telescope cool. The sun shield has five layers, each as thin as a human hair. It is made of Kapton E a tough high-performance plastic coated with aluminum and doped silicon to reflect the sun's heat into space. When fully operational, it will have a surface area as big as a tennis court. JWST's sun shield is so effective that at peak performance, the outermost layer can be at a toasty 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit, while the innermost layer can maintain a bone chilling minus 237 degrees Celsius or minus 394 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a 203% decrease in temperature over five layers. This kind of thermal design is critical since the entire observatory of the telescope operates under minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of the observatory, the next big technological innovation in JWST deals with its optics. The main telescope works like any other reflector. The 18 gold-plated beryllium mirror segments are arranged in a large hexagon. Light from distant galaxies bounces from this massive area to a convex secondary mirror, about 0.74 meters in diameter. That light is then reflected back to the instruments located in the central segment of the primary mirror. The main engineering challenge of such a design is to maintain the focus of these incredibly precise mirrors, operating at cryogenic temperatures in space. For this, the JWST team had to develop a cryogenic actuators and mirror control system. A network of specialized motors and struts are able to bend and flex the 18 mirror segments as though they are a single large mirror. Incredibly, the system is capable of aligning each segment to a precision that is one ten thousandth the thickness of a human hair. The third major innovation in the JWST is its different gyroscope technology. Responsible for maintaining orientation, gyroscopes and reaction control wheels are usually mechanical devices. However, for JWST, a new hemispherical resonator gyroscope technology was developed, in which a quartz hemisphere vibrating at its resonant frequency 
is used to sense the inertial weight of the space telescope. As it does not rely on any mechanical bearings to perform its operation, the new technology does not suffer from wear-out failure. Stress analysis of the HRGs show this design has a mean time before failure of 10 million hours. Moreover, since the operating environment of the quartz hemisphere is a vacuum, thus, once the gyroscope is in space, any housing leaks would actually improve performance. All these new technological innovations had to be validated by testing and review many years prior to launch. In a nutshell, all these new technologies need to work perfectly the first time it flies. Therefore, the JWST program has had the longest integration and test plan ever in the history of space telescopes. Instruments Now, let's divert our attention to the main instrument cluster on the JWST. As we discussed earlier, the primary wavelength of light this telescope will observe is infrared light. So, camera-wise, the main instrument on board is called NERCAM or the Near Infrared Camera that is capable of imaging in the 0.6 to 5.0 micron range. NERCAM has 10 mercury cadmium telluride detector arrays and is also equipped with coronagraphs that allow astronomers to take pictures of very faint objects around a bright object like stellar systems. It works by blocking a brighter object's light, making it possible to view the dimmer object nearby, similar to you shielding the sun from your eyes with an upraised hand, allowing you to focus on the view in front of you. The next instrument on board is the Near Infrared Spectrograph, or NERSPAC. A spectrograph is used to separate the light from an object into a spectrum. Astronomers can then analyze this spectrum to detect the physical properties of the objects they are studying like chemical composition, temperature, and mass. It is probably the best way to explore our cosmos. In order to study thousands of galaxies, NERSPEC is designed to observe 100 objects simultaneously. To achieve this feat, the team at JWST has to develop a revolutionary micro-shutter array. An electrochemical shutter system has lids that open and close when magnetic field is applied. Each cell can be controlled individually allowing it to be opened or closed to view or block a portion of the sky. It is this adjustability that allows NERSPEC to do spectroscopy on so many objects simultaneously. The third camera is called the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI. As the name suggests, this system sees light in the mid-infrared range of 5 to 28 microns. MIRI has both a camera and a spectrograph. Its camera will allow it to take amazing wide-field images of deep space continuing the tradition of breathtaking astrophotography made popular by the Hubble, and its spectrograph will enable medium-resolution spectroscopy to supplement the data generated by NERSPEC. The final main instrument on board is the Fine Guidance Sensor. It also plays a pivotal role in tracking objects that are being observed over a long period of time. To save on mass and volume, the FGS was assembled in a single unit, also containing the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph or NIRIS, which is a separate optical instrument dedicated especially to the study of exoplanets. Mission Now that we are familiar with the overall telescope, let's look at the science that JWST will perform in its 10-year mission. Four areas of modern astronomy have guided the design of JWST. First light and reionization, the assembly of galaxies, the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems, and planetary systems and the origin of life. Astronomers have long theorized that after the Big Bang, when the universe started cooling, the protons and neutrons began combining into ionized atoms of hydrogen and helium, which in turn attracted electrons, turning them into atoms allowing light to travel freely for the first time, ending the cosmic dark ages. Exactly what the universe's first light looked like and exactly when the first stars formed is still not known. This is what the JWST will study. JWST's ultra-deep near-infrared surveys of the universe and follow-up with low-resolution spectroscopy will be able to see back to about 13.6 billion years or 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang, giving us a glimpse of our universe in its infancy. Similarly, when it comes to galaxy formation, our current knowledge is limited. We all think about beautiful spirals when we imagine galaxies, but they have not always looked this way. In fact, it is thought that nearly all massive galaxies have undergone at least one major merger 
since the universe was 6 billion years old. Using deep and wide surveys of galaxies with the NERSPEX Micro Shutter Array simultaneously targeting hundreds, JWST will finally be able to answer questions like how did the first galaxies form? How did we end up with a large variety of galaxies we see today? JWST's amazing imaging and spectroscopy capabilities will also allow us to penetrate the dusty cocoons of star-forming regions, like a nebula, and study stars as they are being born. Additionally, it may also be able to image the disks of heated material around those young stars, which can indicate the beginnings of a planetary system. Finally, according to us, the most important task assigned to JWST is its mission to study the atmospheres of exoplanets and search for the building blocks of life elsewhere in the universe. Astronomers will use its incredibly precise infrared detectors and spectrographs to unlock the composition of the atmosphere present in various exoplanets, with the ultimate goal of finding planets with a similar atmosphere to that of Earth. All in all, the James Webb Space Telescope is not only the most technologically advanced space telescope ever designed, but it is also the boldest and potentially paradigm-shifting mission ever undertaken by astronomers. Its findings have the potential to redefine our understanding of the universe as we know it, and answer the question, are we alone in our universe within the next decade? This makes us super excited about this revolutionary space telescope and you can count on us at Starlight to follow its discoveries as the years go by. What do you think about JWST's chances? Is it according to you the greatest scientific equipment ever made? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for us today. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, hit the notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our 12-minute breakdown of the James Webb Space Telescope. See you soon!